Okay, so I was just batoning this down to just make a little campfire in the background, and I decided I would kind of show this, but I've already done this. Um, these are pieces of, I did a uh, Instagram post about this. This is um, dried, uh, kiln dried pallets that if you can get pallets from, you know, from uh, some place you work or somebody locally or something like that. Um, yeah, they make really good, really good backyard campfires um, for nothing. So convenient. Anyway, so I just am making a, just a couple of other sticks. It's dry out. It's not like it's wet or anything. Um, these things don't feather the best because they tend to make either really big like actual, uh, I guess what people call feathers rather than curls. I don't know, there's always debates of that stuff. But the knife will dig in sometimes. And sometimes you can't get a very good curl because it's a kind of the way the grain goes. But I don't need much, I was just monkeying around and of course it's out of frame I'm terrible at this YouTube thing all right so that I'm gonna throw over there in a second I'll make this other one the point was the point that I decided to make this camp this uh, video so you have to switch because of the grain the grain goes weird weird directions on these sometimes um, all right, so, so that one's pretty terrible. The rest of these I'm not going to even worry about actually because I've already got, let's see, I've already got some in the fire pit. I'm just in my backyard here. Um, and what I wanted to show is how this previous fire um, can become the next fire. So that was the whole point of the video, not the feather sticks, but I figured that I would wanted to at least explain where those fires, where those feather sticks came from. So, and that's kind of feather sticks, more what people would call curls. Anyway, that's there, some more of that. All of these little pieces. I just batoned these pieces up. My small, uh, small fixed blade this one has a knot in it so it just kind of split out but that knot will eventually make for a good good uh, bit of almost fat wood all right so what i'm going to do is try to make a quick video which is almost impossible for me so i'm going to see if any of this stuff from the previous fire this stuff will kind of become like char so you can just chuck some so let's say you're sitting here throwing sparks in here right and you're not getting these I, mean, I might get these curls to start on fire I probably could but my point is is that you don't have to worry about it if you look right down there put my knife away see if you can see that one so all I did is I just fired some curl some uh, sparks down in there and then look right there It's hard. I should have done this in the dark. So right there is a little ember. Down underneath is an ember. So anyway, the point is, is that the previous fire there will ember up. This stuff will become basically like char cloth almost. Or more, more specifically like charred natural material. But you can just rip a few sparks down down into these bits and you'll catch a piece on fire there's a good one down there so and you don't have to really waste much of your much of your ferro rod so see there's one right let's see if I can see it okay it's right there let's see 
All right, so I think you can see that. Anyway, you catch those on fire, and then you basically go to what would be a, uh, more specifically, a friction fire, almost like an ember fire. Those ones may have gone out. They may not be very good either. They're uh, from last night and they burned out pretty thoroughly. Like this guy here is kind of half burnt. Let's see if there's anything, anything good on that one. There's one down underneath there. If I can get that one to spread to some others, they'll start to spread to each other. So that one, I don't know if you can see that one, yeah, on the tip of there. So look at that guy, let's push that up underneath there and really blow on it and see if we can get it to catch these feathers on, on fire. See that smoke? Okay, that's what we want. So, this works way better when you're not trying to film a video with it. Feel a lot of heat down there. <coughs> All right, almost. All right, one or two more. go so that took longer of course because it's on video um, but this is a technique that I use all the time I don't I don't know I mean I know that other people have probably done it or do it um, you know I mean ideally you'd have cotton balls or something else you know to but you're wasting that stuff you know you've got this uh, all this charred material down here that you can just chuck a few sparks into and you know turn that into a fire without really wasting anything but a couple of sparks so it's kind of that that next fire mentality if you look underneath once this gets going you can see tons of ones from before like you can see that entire bed of coals under there That bed of coals you're just bringing back alive so you're technically almost like reviving that bed of coals from last night again in the morning and then 
I'm going to put some of these dead apple branches on it. So, thanks. I'll probably do an outro in a second. All right, so anyway, there's the fire going. So, you know, it's uh, just it's a nice technique that will save your ferro rod. Sometimes you can get one or two sparks down into there, or if you've got a good chunk of char, like a good piece from, you know, a decent-sized chunk from last night that didn't burn down, fire a spark into that, start blowing on it, and it'll grow. Um, it'll grow and grow and grow like that piece that I had. And it'll grow and grow until it becomes, you know, basically a huge coal. And if you can get it to spread to the coals underneath and then just blow on it and poof, it's like friction fire. And you don't uh, use anything but basically a knife and some feather sticks and a couple of sparks. So anyway, thanks for watching.